Hello people and welcome to another Roblox Studio tutorial. Today we're going to make a shift to sprint thing where you hold shift and it will move faster. It will also comes with great features with this sprint ability. And yeah, I'm going to show you how to make it. Enjoy! So first off, let's go to the starter player and go to the starter character scripts. Then what I'm going to do is we're going to insert our local script and now we can do the scripting. Let's go ahead and make some variables. First, let's make a variable to get a service called context action service. Then we'll do a local humanoid to get their humanoid. Now let's make a function called sprint and inside the argument, we're going to call it type. Then we will tell the script that if type is equal to begin, if it is, so we're going to multiply their walk speed to three. Else if their type is ended, then what we're going to do is we're going to set their walk speed to 16 as normal. Now what we're going to go to do is we're going to do is bind the action for the context action service. The first argument will be the name of the action, so I'm going to call it sprint. The second argument will be the function for the action, so we're going to make a function with the underscore comma input state. Then we're going to make an if statement that if the input state is began. Then we're going to call our sprint function and then set our type to begin. Else we'll call it again but set the type to ended. At the comma at the end, the third of the argument is if you want this action into a mobile button. So I'm going to set it to true. The fourth button is the keybind for the action. So I'm going to make my keybind to left shift. Now we have made our own action, let's go ahead and do some additional properties for our action. Now since we've done that, let's test this one, shall we? As you can see, if I hold left shift, our player moves quickly so it works. However, this is kind of boring, so let's make some good features like I showed you at the start. So the first feature we are making is where your camera field of view changes where you sprint. So let's do that, shall we? So first off, let's make a variable to get a service called tween service. Next, we're gonna do a local cam to get their current camera. Then let's add an additional variable called is sprinting and set it to false. Now let's go ahead and make a tween called FOV in. We will create a tween and set the tween to the current camera. Then add a tween info.new and just set the value to 0.5. This will be the duration of the tween. Next we will make a table and then do field of view to 100. Next we will do the same thing but instead it's FOV out. Then change the FOV to 70, our normal FOV. Now to make the is springing variable to be useful, go to the sprint function and in the if statement where the type is begin, set the is spring variable to true. Then at the else if statement, set it to false. Once we've done that, let's go ahead and make a render step function. Next, we will make an if statement that if the is spring variable is true and their humanoid magnitude is greater than zero, then we will play the FOV in tween. Else, if they don't match the requirements, then we will play the FOV out tween. Now, let's test out this new feature, shall we? Now, as you can see, if I hold shift or FOV changes, if I let go, it will change back to our original state. If you also hold shift and didn't move, the FOV will not change unless you move, it will change. Now our last feature we're going to make is animation. So I have still, I mean, I made the animation myself. So I'm just going to do is to export this animation. Once we have exported our animation, insert an animation inside the local script and set their animation ID to this. Now Roblox does not allow to share animations so you have to make your animations your own. Also in mind that make sure your animation is in the right rig type for your game whenever it's R15 or R6. I'm using R15 for this tutorial. Now we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and into the script and make some even more variables. Let's do a local sprint anim where we can get and load our sprint animation for their character. Then we're going to add an additional variable called if spring anim plane and set it to false. Or you can do this. 
Let's go to the render step function and let's say this. We're going to make an if statement that if the variable is false, then we're going to play the animation and set the variable to true. Then in an else statement, we'll make another if statement, but this time if the variable is true, then we stop the animation and set the variable to false. Now, let's go ahead and try it out. Alright, so, now if I sprint, the animation works perfectly. Now, you may have noticed that if you jump, the animation is still playing, so we want a script to detect if the character is running or not. In the render step function, let's add an if statement and get their humanoid state. Then we want to say if the humanoid state is running or ri running without physics, then we will play the animation and set the variable to true. If the humanoid state doesn't match the requirements, then we will stop the animation and so on and so forth. Now, since we have fixed this, let's try it out. So, uh, so as you can see, now if we sprint, our animation works, and if we jump, and you can see the animation stop, meaning it works perfectly. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Make sure you like the video if you enjoy it. Otherwise, subscribe for more Roblox Studio content, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out!